Good morning, everyone. I'm Viktor Novitsky. We are here in front of the Court of Justice in Malta to support Matthew Grech and the hearing of his court case today. Matthew was accused of promoting conversion therapy practices. That is mentioned in the affidavit. Do you think it's valid to ask about these conversion practices? Are they practiced today anywhere, okay. especially in Malta? <laughs> So from what we know in Malta right now, there are no practices of so-called conversion therapy going on. And you coming from the same background of unwanted same-sex attraction, how would this affect you personally in your journey? I was very depressed. I was suicidal. It is not something that I, that I wanted. It is not something that I chose. I feel as though in this country, I do not have the right to be who I want to be. All right, Matthew, so we are here. This is the day. Um, God is with us. God is with you. How do you feel about it? What are your expectations? I'm loving to see the church united here. We've just been praising God together before the criminal court hearing. So we're very expectant. Um, I think uh, this law here in Malta is shutting down uh, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience, freedom of expression fundamental and basic freedoms and it should have no place in Malta and and as as we can see it's uh, it's doing it's trying to come against the Word of God the Bible uh, fundamental Christian belief this law tells you how you're supposed to think about sexuality it does not make room for other understandings uh, doesn't make room for this to be challenged and we're not here to conform to LGBT religion or indoctrination. We're here to defy that because it's not in the best interest of our country and certainly not in the best interest of families across the world. Uh, we know that this case has been followed by many other countries and many Christians, many therapists, many people who live this lifestyle. Do you want to address them? Do you want to tell them something today? We're here to also defend people's right to offer counseling, including pastors, you know, to offer counseling in a biblical way, in a sound way, that works uh, towards heterosexuality, works towards family building, you know. Uh, and so it's a very positive um, outlook on sexuality that needs to be protected and defended. And we're going to do that right to the end. Matthew is not homo. Phobic. Abba Party will give full support to Matthew Greg and every person who is or will be persecuted by these groups, individuals or any other government members. You're obviously here to support Matthew Greg. Uh, why is this cause important to you personally? I've come out of uh, uh, homosexuality myself and uh, I was uh, very much uh, once active in the gay community and uh, I abandoned uh, that way of life because it was uh, very destructive to myself. I mean everyone have the right to speak, um, everyone have the right to say what the Lord has done with them and yes it, it affects me because it's a shame that a person is, is, is rejoicing of how Christ changed his life and people like these they are trying to put a bad name on him and so that affects me because I, 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 I want to share what Christ has made with me and they are trying to stop us but they won't. How do you think that would impact you or people like you just the existence of this case and the legislation of such? It's going to make it harder for us to, to, to seek help, to, to, to find support. Basically, you know, we are, all, uh, we are supporting counselling choice. I am pro-counselling choice. If I want counselling and support uh, to come out uh, of this lifestyle, I should have that right. If I want to be prayed for, if I want to, to be counselled, I should have that right. I believe that everyone has the right to seek help. Like, if, and if, if, if someone wants to be helped, I mean, it has the right to find help. I mean, why people like these have to stop someone that want to change his life? Actually, I'm really happy that this happened because the lies of the enemy are being exposed. So what the enemy has meant for evil, God is going to turn it for good. And not only only this is going to fall down, but many other lies with it are going to fall down. No law in this land will ever stop me from speaking the truths of the Bible. If the changes in the law state that if you speak that Jesus can change your life, that would be conversion therapy, then they're basically telling us to 
shut up, right? Not to say what the Bible says. We will never stop. You will never shut us up. We will always say what the Bible says. We just came out um, from the criminal court hearing and it's going to now result in another hearing in June uh, this year. What we witnessed today it's important not just for Malta but for other nations as well because we believe that this will have a ripple effect. So thank you X Out Loud uh, for taking interest in this issue. Uh, I'm a, a very grateful member of X Out Loud, men and women who, are, who have left LGBT from uh, across the world including Europe. So let's do this, we're in this together. We will keep you updated. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time. We are X Out Loud and we have a message for you because... Change!